Today we'll be cleaning the Mossberg 590 shockwave. As always, we'll make sure the firearm is unloaded before we start the cleaning process. The products we'll use cleaning today will be Militech, Hops, a brush, a boar snake, and a pen. We'll start the cleaning process by removing the barrel. To take the barrel off, you first have to unthread the magazine cap. With the cap removed, we should be able to free the barrel from the receiver. Next, we'll remove the trigger group by pressing on the side of the pin that's holding the trigger group in and pushing it to one side. We should be able to free the trigger group up by slightly lifting up on the rear of the trigger group. We can then take out the cartridge interceptor and the cartridge stop. With the bolt about halfway back, we can then remove the bolt slide. Then we can push the bolt forward and remove it from the front end of the receiver. Next we'll remove the lifter. In order to get the lifter out, we will want to make sure that the firearm is on safe. Then we'll remove the forend. That's it for the disassembly. Now we'll move on to the actual cleaning. We'll start with the hops and a brush to clean the inside of the receiver. Once we're done brushing the inside of the receiver, we'll use some paper towel to remove any excess solvent and debris. Next, we'll move on to the bolt and the bolt slide with some hops and the brush. After I wipe down the bolt and the bolt slide with a little bit of paper towel to remove the excess solvent, I'll move on to the cartridge stop and the cartridge interrupter. Here I'm just going to use a little bit of paper towel to wipe them down as they're not very dirty. Then I'll move on to the lifter. I am going to use a brush and some hops on this one just to get rid of some of the excess fouling. The trigger group isn't very dirty, so I'm just going to lightly wipe it down with a little bit of paper towel. I'll also wipe down the trigger group pin. For the barrel, I'm just going to make sure that the chamber looks clean. Here, I'm just going to use a little bit of paper towel to make sure I'm wiping out any residue. I'm also going to wipe down the arms on the slide action assembly. Then I'll use my 12 gauge bore snake on the barrel. I only have to run this through a few times to get that barrel nice and clean. Next, I'll rub a little bit of oil on the bolt slide. A little bit goes a long way. I'll put a couple of drops on the arms for the slide action assembly as well. A couple drops of oil on the moving parts in the trigger group. And also a couple drops of oil on the bolt. Now it's time for reassembly. I'll start by putting the lifter back in. You'll notice that the lifter has two pivot points on it, and there are holes lining up on the receiver that each side should go into accordingly. Next, I'll put the slide action assembly back in with the forend. This takes a little bit of finesse, but just by pushing down a little bit on the arms, you should be able to get that right into the receiver. With the slide action assembly back in, I'll move it to about the halfway point on the receiver. Then I'll reinsert the bolt from the front of the receiver and move it to that halfway position as well. Then I'll put the bolt slide back in. It's also not a bad idea to see how the bolt slide and the bolt made up while they're outside of the firearm. Then I'll put the cartridge stop and the cartridge interceptor back in as well. Next I'll put the trigger group back in. You'll notice some divots on the front of the trigger group. These need to be slid in towards the front of the receiver before you can push down on the trigger group. With the trigger group flush, we'll reinsert the pin. Lastly, we'll put the barrel back on. That should just slide right into place, and then you just need to rescrew the magazine cap. That's it, a clean Mossberg 590 shockwave.